Alright YouTube, it's official Gary here and uh, yeah basically today I've got another tutorial um, they seem to be getting the most views as usual that yeah, usual so I'm going to be doing another one um, last tutorial I got a lot of hate because someone tried to say that it was someone's style now at the end of the day I'm making tutorials to show you how to do things you didn't know so if you're going to hate about that then there's no point in even clicking on the video to be honest um, I made it because, you know what I mean, like, I didn't mean to take someone's style, um, at the end of the day, if someone can create something in Cinema 4D, then why can't anyone else, because regardless, GFX isn't exactly, if that's, like, you know what I mean, if that's the way it's going to be, then it's kind of going to ruin um, people's knowledge on graphic design, which I'm sure people wouldn't want if they actually take graphics seriously, so, um, this style I'm about to show you, or tutorial on a kind of tech style, um, isn't someone's style, uh, you'd be glad to know, well, um, it gets used in styles, but it's not like a main style, um, it's just a cool effect to kind of use, so, basically, all I'm going to do is create a new text. And of course, it'll take a while to select a font and another thing um, I've actually got a new intro that I made which is coming out tomorrow so um, yeah check that out when I upload it I might upload it separately or I might um, put it in my next video I'm not really sure yet Ugh, it's taking its time Ah, uh, it's probably because I've got After Effects open, uh, be right back. Okay, so yeah, basically what you're going to want to do is choose a font. Um, I like Bedrock for a font, and this one here is called Bedrock C. You can get that on da font. So I'm just going to type in Rock. And yeah, I'm going to change this to 120 caps, none. Um, now watch this part. What you're going to do is press Control C, Control V and copy it. And you're going to make this 125, and then, well, 122, and then what you're going to do is put a fillet cap on it, so 1, and 1, and then once you've done that, you'll see you have both layers. So now what you're going to want to do is get materials, um, I'll provide this one in a Cinema 4D file that you just can download, so... As usual, I get my materials from Droids, Material Packs. Um, if you have a look at my last video, my last tutorial, I show you how to get them. Well, I leave two free an free annotations on the screen, which link you to the materials. But now nah, I'm actually going to use Vapors Lava one. That was one I used before. So yeah, sorry. I'll link you Vapors Material Pack. That one is free. You'll be glad to know. So. Um, what I'm going to do now is get a stone material. Now, unfortunately, I can't kind of like get you this, these materials for free. You have to pay for them. Um, you can catch them off Digital Universe's website. He makes them himself, I believe. I'm not really sure. But yeah, you can get a lot of packs from there, fairly cheap, $5, $10, um, but they include a lot of good materials, like this stone one here, so... Yeah, once you've sourced out a stone material and a lava material, then go ahead and apply them, um, but if you don't have these materials, it works with any material, so don't worry about anything like that, but yeah, you, you'll apply your materials and select them both and make them cubic seamless or shameless um, once you've done that you can see this one's actually underneath so yeah it's pretty, pretty sick so what you're going to do now is move the top layer over just a little bit just like that and next thing you're going to want to do is get a landscape 
Uh, what you're going to do is get your landscape and you're going to click this thing here, spheric spherical or spherical. Um, yeah, click that <laughs> and um, just scale this down. And once it's scaled down, you're going to grab this point here and just drag it out, and you get this kind of spiky ball thing. So, yeah, what you're going to do is um, scale it down to kind of like the size of your kind of text, I suppose, uh, um, just a reasonable cut size because this is what's going to be used to make the cut on your text. So, move that over onto your text and yeah, it looks okay. Uh, basically what you're going to do is just apply these all over your text, um, like on the letters, you can do it like once or twice, do it as many times as you want, you know what I mean, you're the one making the text. I'm going to do it once on each letter, so one at the bottom here and you can like change this about so I'm going to do that and just scale it down and then copy it again and I'm going to do this one up here just like that and we're going to do another one on the K so down across and at the bottom now you're probably thinking, what the fuck is he doing? Um, don't worry, this is all going to be changed in a minute because what you're going to do is make a bill. And once you've got a bill, you're going to group these, group objects, and you're going to add them into the bill. And then once you've done that, you're going to add the top text layer below that. I'm oh, sorry, above it. And as you see, Voila, you get these cuts in your text. Now personally, I think this effect is sick. It gives such a nice effect to your text, like someone's took a chisel and just chipped away some parts from it or something, or like your text has just been slapped in the jaw. But what you're going to do is, if it looks a bit off or something, you can always play about with these. Um, I'm going to move that one. Yeah, this will make it lag a little bit, so I'm just going to untick that. Yeah, just move it across and up and yeah just basically play around with it like uh, so yeah that'll do um this part up here this is really creating a nice effect it's pretty sick um so yeah that's how you do that it was pretty it's a pretty simple tutorial to do um i've seen it been done before um because Del Louis does it, but except he's got this kind of like voxel effect thing that comes out. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do that. I don't want hated off people saying, oh, you're releasing someone else's style, blah, blah, blah. If you want to find out that, if you, if you do want to know how to do that, then I think I'll leave him to do a tutorial on it because 29 dislikes my last video got and it was ridiculous. And I mean, I know how to do a lot of things that, I'm, that are involved in people's GFX styles, but in a way, like, it'd be better to show you because if you, you know I mean, I don't, like, do, you know, 3D backgrounds or anything anymore, I kind of take it a bit more seriously, and um, I'd love to show you how to do, like, some of the stuff in people's styles because it's quite useful tips um, involving your text and stuff, but I just can't deal with the hate on my channel, to be honest, but, um, yeah, hopefully you just kind of respect this video, it's pretty sweet, it's not taking anyone's style away, um, because in, in fact I've just came up with this myself, like, i seen it being, I had a, a pack I downloaded, yeah, and a, there was a project in it, and basically it was just this, and I was looking at it and I said, well that's pretty sick, and I wanted to show you how to do it, once I'd looked at the project, I kind of sussed it out for myself, and uh, yeah, so, I made my own materials and stuff, well, didn't make them, but you know what I mean, I, I, like, I chose what materials I was going to use, what ones looked cool, and yeah, I think the rock and lava thing looks pretty sick, so, what I'm going to do now is show you basically what this finally looks like, uh, just add in a few lights, make that a, yeah, shadow, Another thing I'm thinking is people that do GFX, um, when you download Lightrooms or if people try to sell you a Lightroom at the end of the day, I don't think I, you should pay money for it. I mean, I've had pay, paid Lightrooms and I've had non-paid Lightrooms. <laughs> to be honest, they're all the same. They don't really give a much effect. 
Um, most of the paid ones will be the same as this kind of setup I'm doing just now. So if you're going to spend money on packs or something, at least do you buy a pack, not a, not you know what I mean. Don't buy a light room. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to quickly set this up. Let's do a shadow. No, not so. I need your help. <sighs> right, uh, let's change them to 70. Change that to 70. Copy this and drag it to the top. None. Uh, yeah, that's alright. So yeah, um I'm being occlusion one two five and uh yeah, I'll do it doesn't matter what size it is because I'm not actually rendering this out, although I will for the thumbnail so people get a rough idea of what I'm making. A tutorial on, so um, yeah, let's just render this out. The thing about this as well, it doesn't take too long to render, it's not majorly CPU raping material, so <laughs> it's pretty basic to render out. Of course, if you're going to include a lot more stuff in it, if you're like one of them 3D background designers, then by all means it could take long, but yeah, basically that's it. Um, you can always make that glow by adding in a glow, but to be honest, you can mess about with that yourself. Um, so yeah, this has been tutorial number three. Um, if you're enjoying the tutorial so far, then by all means, you know what to do. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Um, also, at 200, I'm going to be doing a setup video for you who want to know what computer I have and stuff, and you know what I mean, just basically what uh, what TV and all that kind of gear. Um, but yeah, I'm doing that for 200 subs, so yeah, I mean, be sure to subscribe. And also, the better feedback you give me, the more tutorials I'm going to make. But just make sure, um, if you see anyone hating for a reason, um, yeah, I mean, by all means, try and defend me if you're one of my subscribers and I agree and enjoy me making tutorials because that's what I'd want. Um, I don't want people hating just because, you know what I mean, maybe someone comes along and they use their style or self and like, hey, what are you doing? Like, well, mate, you know what I mean? Um, I've downloaded a pack which has, like, you know I mean, it's been done in, and I've seen, like, uh, it's actually been done before, like, several times. So, you know what I mean, they can't call themselves original by doing this. Um, of course, if they're using it in a more creative way, then by all means, call yourself creative. But um, to be honest, 3D GFX just isn't really creative these days. There's only a few creative people. But yeah, I'm not going to go too much into that. But yeah, if you enjoyed this tutorial, I told you what to do. So I'll see you all next time.